Guys, welcome back. It's you might think beginning to you look no, not yet. It's beginning to not really. Uh feel like maybe. Although it's been all right. It hasn't been too frigid. But you might you guys might be looking out the window here and being like Oh, uh, the guy. Another, another, another midnight mid, pod. Another midnight pod. Nope. Well, it's 6 p.m. Yeah, it's, and actually, it was like this at 5. Yeah. So, thanks, Daylight Savings. Thanks, Daylight Savings. And thanks to people like our parents who will defend Daylight Savings. Never will get it. And then, then because every it's time it's fall back, thing. every time every time it's fall back, people always will say, because the general argument that I always hear for Daylight Savings is, it's so that it doesn't get darker sooner and i'm like what do you mean it's still the same amount of light and dark but also daylight savings is literally making it darker sooner oh oh yeah yeah sorry You're because right. if it oh, if saying. it didn't happen the it would be dark at six it would be five which is PM still right? early it would be five wait it'd be 7 p.m right now yeah sorry. which is still early but when the sun starts setting, it's 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 six instead of five. Now it's five. It's like also, um, like getting rid of daylight savings would help with seasonal depression. Mm -hmm. It'd be darker for less time. You'd be awake. Mm -hmm. Well, it's because the government wants us to be depressed. Well, it's, it might be true. <laughs> and I, they, well, think about it. It's all around Christmas time. It's just weird that the season some of buying parts, presents and making you feel better for getting and receiving, for giving and getting gifts. It just shows that it literally, like, if that. anything is a construct, daylight savings is. Because some places, even in the States, don't have it. Oh, yeah. Outside of uh, North America, it doesn't exist, I think. But even in North America, it I doesn't know, exist. I'm just I don't saying, think like, the West Coast, maybe, maybe in Canada it does, but I, it's like, bro, we don't, let's just not do it. Every single year I feel this way. At this time of the year, and it's like... And I think what's even more cringe is when it comes around to fall, people are going to say, we're getting an extra hour of light. You mean the spring? Or... Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, spring, yeah. spring. Uh, people are going to be like, we're getting an extra hour of sunlight. It's like, it could have yeah. stayed that the whole way. No, but I'm thinking, like, you know that it's not... Tr you're not getting an yeah. extra hour of sunlight. It just shifts. But also, you it's didn't... still you six hours of sunlight. Yeah. Or, or not six hours, like as an example, Whatever it it's is, still yeah. six hours of sunlight, whether it starts at 5 p.m. and ends at 7 or mm -hmm. starts at 6 and ends at 8. Mm -hmm. But here's That's the thing cringe. is you don't have to be you don't have to be happy about spring forward because if you got rid of fall back, everything would be fine, if not better. So I don't know what needs to happen. I don't think it's ever going to change, but maybe I'll start protesting that. I think when we want to move to Sweden. It's not going to matter. Mm. Well, everything's fine in Sweden. Everything is fine in Sweden. I actually believe that. Guys, I got the new Coca-Cola creation. And eyes. And eyes. And eyes got. I got Coca-Cola chaotic. Ooh. Uh, this is the brand new Coca-Cola flavor Y3000. It's futuristic flavored. Oh, true, dude. So that's what, that's what the lack of daylight saving tastes like. Yes, this is That's what, what the lack of daylight this is savings what a, tastes like. This is what an advanced society tastes like. Let's see. And let's guys and guys the for the audio listeners at home, go check out our YouTube. Well, there actually are no audio listeners because I always every week forget to upload this to Spotify. I don't think I've uploaded one to Spotify since episode forty. Yeah, I was thinking that you should. This smells horrible i just want i just want it known it smells horrible it just tastes like Take anything a sniff else. of that oh it tastes like coke but like plus feet yeah so the future it smells is like coke smelly but how does it taste like cotton candy is my guess because that's kind of what it smelled like that may i get a sippy tastes may i get a sippy pookie kind of bad thanks pookie <laughs> Oh, it does smell like, it smells like it's like been sitting out. It kind of tastes like a Haribo Coca-Cola. Oh, no. <laughs> the future is doomed. That tastes like cheese. That tastes like cheese that's been sitting out. I'm not even kidding. 
Ew. That's actually bad. It tastes like Haribo Coca-Cola, though. No, it does not. That tastes old. Like. Well, it's because it's in the future. It's been sitting oh, there. They, they, they made the batch. This is what happens. They made this batch. Yeah. And then they let it sit for. It literally tastes. Until the year 3000. That tastes perishable. No, no. Hear me out. It does. They, they, they brewed it. In in 2023, Ooh. right? They brewed this batch of Coca-Cola. Right. Then they let it, then they barreled it and let it age until the year That's 3000. Right. And then the people in the year 3000 who have time machines came back in time with the aged oh. barrel to That's 2023. Right. So confirm time travel. Confirm time travel, and this came from the future, and that's why it it, tastes it old. literally tastes perishable, and it's been sitting out for like a week. <laughs> Miss, but I will drink it. Ew, because I bought it. So that like actually like that's weird. That is weird. The second sip it kind of tastes like old cheese. The second sip wasn't as bad, and it did taste more like a Haribo Coca Cola. You know when like you open a fridge, and there's just a stain, and there's like a something ain't right. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's what that what, tastes like. That's and that's what crazy. it smells like also. It's also what it smells like. It smells, it tastes exactly how it smells. Yeah. You smell, you open the fridge, you're like, something right. You're like, I, 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 like, like, I got to clean this fridge. Yeah. You're like, something mm, right. Yeah. There's something in here that's got a little yeah. odor. To or if it. you leave your dishes out for too long and you come home after a day at work and you yeah. open your door and you're, you're like, like, whoa, <laughs> I got to clean my dishes. Something right. Yeah. Um, that's what that tastes like. Mm-hmm. Plus, well, it, I'm t- plus Coca-Cola. Because there's a little right. hint of Coke. <laughs> right. It tastes like stale fridge Coke. <laughs> yeah. It tastes like if a Coke was left open in the stale fridge. But also so you may have got gotten the juices the, in you there. You may not have gotten the full experience because it may have clashed with your punch. Monster. Dude, one time I did that and it was like, I actually almost yacked. And, I, and, and, and to this day, White Claw grapefruit's kind of ruined for me because I opened one, mm-hmm. drank like half of it. Dude, I opened the this was, bottle and it smells like a bad fridge. Yeah, by the way, this is a while ago. Okay, so you can't judge me for this. I might Cracked say. it, cracked the grapefruit, mm-hmm. drank it, didn't finish it, put half back in my fridge where there was like a bunch of food. And when it's open, all the food particles, sa- smells get in there. Like the next night I went to go take a sip and I almost yacked. And now to this day, every time I smell or take a sip of the grapefruit, there's that little hint. There's that little hint of like, you got PTSD. Of like ooh, yucky poo poo caca. But Ooh. what I will say, the Cottage Springs punched up really good. The Cottage Springs punched up really good. We got mango guava as one of the flavors. Watermelon dragon fruit as one of the flavors. Those are the only twos, two that I've tried so far. Are those on the ones on the counter there? No, they're in the fridge. Sorry, guava and guava, dragon fruit. guava mango. Ooh, that's one flavor combined. When are these? Are these winter flavors? No, no. These are around. Are these out of season. These now? are out. Will I be able to get them? I've been having them at the LCBO. Dragon fruit, watermelon, Ooh. and lemon blueberry. I think is one of them, and then another one that I don't know. But seven percent old Coke and seven percent. Whoa, Whoa. that shit's punched up. And I thought when I saw punched up, because I had them at work at first, I saw punched up. I thought they're going to be like, like, you know, Trulies are like juice, Mm -hmm. but they're sugar free juice Mm -hmm. seltzers. No, it's vodka, straight up vodka soda with like the, like, like a a white 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 claw. That's better. Uh, It's much better. It's not as like sugar bullshit. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't mind Trulies, though. No, I like Trulies, but you can't have 10 of them. No. You can have You're two, right. and then you start to feel like a you little... You can have a whole lot of White Claws. You can you start to feel sick. Yeah, you can have a whole lot of Because don't claws. get me wrong. I love artificial sugar. I don't know if it's I just I love you. artificial sugar. Diet Coke or, is great. I don't know if it's just me. But you can't have more than one. Yeah. Tell us. What's up? But I find it harder to get drunk off uh, White Claws or any vodka sodas. And I'll tell you why. My Might theory be because is, you're alcoholic. I'll tell you why my th- what my theory is. I drink too many of them. <laughs> yeah, my body's immune. Um, no, I think that uh, the water keeps is you, keeps you it hydrated. keeps you hydrated. 
<laughs> balances. It balances. That's my theory. Or I'm just an alcoholic. No, I never. I think some nights white. I think some nights seltzers hit, and some nights they don't. And I just. But like, I'll impossible. have a couple beers. I'll feel a little fun. I'll have like I know, I four white claws, and I'll be like, "Bro, I get behind the wheel right now." And you do, and I do. Yeah. Cut that. I don't. Cut that. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Well, it makes it more fun. Well, yeah. Well, but I mean, I don't do that. Or does he? I don't. Is this? Can they send? Can they arrest you for DUI if you admit it on the air? <laughs> if I say on a podcast, but guys, no, seriously, I've never done that. But I'm, that doesn't. We're past that. Obviously, you haven't. <laughs> Obviously, you haven't. Unless could they? No, I haven't. Um, if they were already suspicious of you doing it, like I think if I just came on a podcast with no pri, like with no. And just said I potential drove, whatever, I and I'd be like, drunk. I drove drunk. <laughs> I drove drunk. I don't think anything can. Ha- I don't think they can be like, you're under arrest based on you saying it on the podcast. Because then, couldn't you argue? Because then, yeah, well, I could no. just be like, I lied. Because I was thinking like, oh, but you could argue like, where's the proof? But the proof was that you just confessed to it. But I. But if I said that but I does, did that, but is that enough? If I say I did this. Then they might go, let's maybe, look into this. Also, yeah, yeah. Also, <laughs> maybe if, uh, do you also maybe driving drunk? Don't care. If you admit to a murder, maybe they'll look into it. If they're like, who's this bozo on this 25 view podcast? Yeah. Admitting he drove. Dr- First of I'm all, not admitting anything. Not, he's admitting it. <laughs> obviously, they're never going to see that. But, but if, so, let's say someone was murdered, let's say someone was murdered and I come on a podcast and And I I say I I murdered this person because there's already an investigation likely going on there they probably bring you in but no they might kick your door down but I still don't think that you can I'm not gonna lie they might not be civil they might kick your door down and shove to the ground and arrest you no because if I go if I go so let's say person's dead I come on here and I gay and I go and I'm gay (laughs) I don't think they'll arrest you for that. Rewind. And I go, I murdered that person. Okay. Then they might arrest me, but I can go, I lied. I didn't murder that person. And then they like, and then they, and then they would have to prove it. Yeah. Because if I like you're, that's too bad. You're already fucked. Like, cause I wasn't under oath when I said that I murdered that person. We're under oath on this podcast. Oh my God. I swear you. So everything I just said, I could be liable for. Perjury. Perjury. Oh my God. Would you, would you perjure yourself? Would you murder? Would you perjure? <laughs> would yourself? you murder yourself? Okay. Let's say, let's say Ray is under some heat mm-hmm. okay. and you know what happened. What kind of heat? Let's say like, let's say Ray let's killed say someone. insider trading. Okay. Let's say That's Ray. Ray would and maybe has done. <laughs> Dude, Ray's listening to this, man. And, and he's he is and doing he's it. Look into it. Look into it. <laughs> Look into it. Um, kidding. On the record. Kidding. Off the record, though. Off the record. Not kidding. <laughs> that was a visual gag for everybody. Um, Even though I just said off the record. Off the not record. Kidding. Not kidding. Real. Kidding. Yeah, maybe, um, maybe. Not you, them. Answer. Answer, guys. Leave a comment if you heard answer what Ethan right said. Now. Leave a comment. Okay, and we're reading the comments. Answer, no one answered. So, And you know he did it. He's guilty of everything. Okay. He's guilty on all counts. Was I involved? Like, no. was I the inside, in- no. inside information? No, you're okay. just a you're, you're, you're witness. Like, Ray confided in me in secrecy. You just watched him do it. Okay. Okay, I watched Ray do insider trading. Or no, uh, yeah, no, he, and he admitted to you. Okay. Cause I think if you watch it, then you're an accessory and then, <laughs> then you're also involved. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so he admitted it okay. to you during the court case. So not like before. And then, so you didn't really have an obligation to turn him in. Right. Okay. So he's already been, he's already been under investigation, but nobody knows that you did it. No one and knows they will for never sure. Know. No one knows for sure that he's done it except for me. Nobody knows that he told you. Nobody knows that. Oh, you Oh know. yes, right. Yes, yes. Okay. You get they get you up on the stand. Mm-hmm. They ask you point blank. Mm. Did he Whoa. do it? 
Well, would, would you lie knowing that perjury did, perjury is a minimum sen- can is a sentence up to three years? Did he do it? He <laughs> yes. He give it. me any no. money? No, you're just doing it out of love for Ray. Okay, so that's a tough question because he, he and he didn't ask you to lie. Right. Just he just told you, me. Would you perjure yourself for Ray? Um, how long is the jail sentence for insider trading? It depends. Can we look that up. I guess like, is it, does it depend on like how much money you get? How much insider trading you do? Yeah. Um, how long can you go to jail? And then compare that to how long can you go for lying under oath in court? <laughs> Just so I know the difference before I make my final answer. I think you can get up to three years for insider trading. Up to ten years. Oh for, my god. For uh, insider trading. Okay, up to ten years for insider trading. And now, right. how much for for perjurating yourself? <laughs> perjurating. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I want to see. I want to know how long I would go. I would go away for if they caught me, of course. Because that's the other thing. I could lie, and Ray would be the only one that knows that I'm lying. So the only one that could tell someone... You might be going for up to 14 years. So your sentence actually might be longer than his. Well, it really comes <laughs> down to... Because if they find out you perjured yourself, you perjurated yourself, mm-hmm. you're both going to jail. Yeah, right. So it's either now, just Ray or you're potentially You're not getting Ray. 14. Mm-hmm necessarily you can get up to 14 uh, i think it depends on a million different things mm-hmm. honestly i don't know uh, the, i don't know right the, right right but let's just say the maximum sentence applies for let's both say you get maximum sentence yeah. let's say let's say ray max or uh, let's say ray insider traded for like like 100 million dollars mm-hmm. untraceable but they can't trace the money see because so they pull so, you up so on the really stand. if i say yes i would perjurate myself it's first of all, it goes not back. And, it go- I don't know if you're joking or not. <laughs> I am joking. It's perjure. Perjure. I watched suits eight times. Oh shit. Trust me. Um, if I'm not going to perjure myself, I'm not going to perjure myself. <laughs> then it Would goes back. If I do that, a- then it goes back to Ray because Ray is the only one that knows that I'm lying at that point. But if, if you're just running the risk of, if they found out in any way, no, I know. A, uh, you can you can lie under oath, and there are ways. And there are have been many many a person in in history to lie under. Oh, oath. Oh, easily people have. It's just um, whether you're whether you're com- comfortable with the fact of them. If they find out, you might be going to jail for fourteen years. <gasps> I think I'd give them up. <laughs> Sorry, Ray. That's not personal to Ray. I just don't think I would ever lie in court. I don't think that I would be. See, now that's where you fucked up. I don't think that I'd be brave enough to lie. See, if if I was in that situation, I just would say I would like to assert my Fifth Amendment right and decline to answer. Okay, but then they they almost certainly know the answer. Mm, then the jury's not allowed to. I know that the jury's not allowed that. to, but that is so BS. <laughs> anytime, anytime, like any time. Have you ever? Did you watch um, Suits? Suits once? I haven't yet. It's pretty good. I heard. I'm on season one, episode one. Um. I no, it's uh, what's the show? It's called Jury Duty. It was the one where they had the one guy who thought he was in a real jury duty, but it was actually never the whole thing was show. staged. I've never heard of the show. It's relatively new. It's on Prime. It's a good watch. But there's a number of again, the whole thing is fake except for this one guy who thinks it's real. Right. But um, they say like guys like they didn't they didn't submit this evidence and but the evidence is presented. But, but it's the judge, inadmissible. But it's inadmissible. So the so judge is like, disregard it. he's like, disregard that, disregard that. But then they go back to the jury, cons- like whatever, and yeah. that's all they're talking about. I'm like, there's no way if the guy goes, I saw him murder that guy, and they go, that's in, that's. But why you, is it ignore that? I don't know, but for whatever reason. No, Let's but just I'm saying say like, like oh, an eyewitness testimony is is different to take into account because if they're like. Well, he was uh, like that eyewitness was on eight, eight grams of coke that night. Okay, wh- so okay. it's inadmissible. Okay, okay. Well, no, now no, we can't. Here we go. Now it makes sense. So here's why. different. Here's different. 
the the um the the murder weapon was found and it had the the person's the person the register mm-hmm. the person who's registered on that weapon is the person being accused mm-hmm. but what if they like missubmitted the piece of evidence being the murder weapon so they have to ignore it i don't think you'd even be able to present it in, in court what if they go i have the murder weapon <laughs> And they shoot the judge. Well, then it, they'd go into investigation. <laughs> and they're like, who did this? Hmm. Hmm, did they Could have been it? anyone. Well, how much coke was the guy on? Who <laughs> this in the whole courtroom. Um, see, I can't see. even remember why we started talking about ignoring stuff. Oh, because you Fifth Amendment. Right, right, right. Yep. So I what if you just... If we what have if, a Fifth Amendment What if you Canada, just though? stand up there and go, Fifth Amendment, for every question? <laughs> You're just an asshole, but you can do it. <laughs> real but it's also a waste of everyone's time but it's also like if you're up there as a witness some things you might want to answer because they will help with the uh innocence of right ray right otherwise they if they don't then you don't answer if you don't so if someone goes so so the question that's being asked to me is do you know if ray did this you could just say can i say yes i know if ray did this or not and then if they ask, did they wouldn't, he do well, they it wouldn't or ask not? you that question. And then they're like, did he do it or not? I'll be like, I know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> so answer. The answer is you a mystery. You do have to give the answer or not. <laughs> then or, you just keep, not you just keep circling around it. And so what did he tell you? He told me he whether told he you, did it or he not. Told me whether he did it or so not. So did he? Did he? That's for you to prove. Yeah. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. That's for you to prove. You're I can't lawyer. recall. You're the lawyer. Yeah, that's your Yo, job. No, I'm here to mine. prove it by I'm asking I'm not getting paid you. to be here. Listen, pay me my money and I'll answer. That's always what it comes down to. I don't know if we have a Fifth Amendment in Canada, though. Or an equivalent. That being said, if Ray was like, I did this, here's you're, a million, oh, you're gonna do- here's a million dollars, I'm going to be like, I'll be like, where are you hiding? Like, like, where's the rest of the money, bro? Do you have it like safe somewhere? Oh, you're, you're, like, a, you're like an op. And no, no, I'll be like, do you have it safe somewhere? And then he'll be like, yeah, 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 I got it here. Then I'm gonna kill him. No, and then that, I'm gonna take his money. No, you just admit that he did it in court. Then he goes to jail. But then, and the, then but he, then the money gets seized. Right. I see what you're saying. I didn't even think about that. So he gets the money. No, he keeps the money. <laughs> Shit. Then yeah, he's going away. Long gone. Yeah, like no, like I'm saying, like they don't seize the money. They just he goes to jail for <laughs> oh, being bad. They, but, and they're like case closed. Yeah, but he gets to keep the money. Well, he earned it. <laughs> Case closed. He made the money. They they drug bust m- millions of dollars. They get the guy. They're like, we got the guy. What about the money? Ah, no, he gets to keep the earned yeah. guy. He worked that's his it. money. Yeah, he worked for that's it. He not worked our for money legally, but he worked for it. We got him, but that's his money. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about that. Yeah, what he did for it was illegal, but he still worked for it. Yeah, he earned it. Right. I actually agree with that. They get to keep the money, but they go to jail for longer, or they get to choose. <laughs> they lose. The- so. Sir, you can either go to jail for five years and we seize all of the money and all everything, every asset that you had to do with this crime. It's ours. Or you go for six. It's ours. You or it you all. go for 50 years. But when you get out at 80, you have $100 million. What would you pick? That actually is a good question. I probably would. I probably would pick the five pick, years. I would take the five years. That, that's what I'm saying. So it's, like a, it's a fair. But the government wants that money. What do they do well, with it? What is Justin going to spend his what's vacation? Justin gonna, what's Justin going to spend on the new how is he gonna, inflation summit? How is he going to buy his $50,000 hotel room, man? I don't know, dude. They, he might just take it out of our pocket. Well, that is what he's doing. But I'm saying maybe we should be arresting more drug lords so that they can I actually don't money. know where that money goes. I think it just goes... They put it into a t-shirt cannon. <laughs> <laughs> and they go to the top of City Hall... And they go, free money. <laughs> and then you have to, yeah, it's like, it's like the, the thing that you go, it's like the tube and it's the yeah. hurricane and you try and grab as many. What if you saw you Trudeau in one of those? I'd be like, what are you doing here, man? Be like, you don't need that to spend money clearly. I'd be like, dude, what are you doing? Go home. He's trying to fix the deficit, man. I'd be like, go, I'd be like, go home to your family. Oh, wait. What happened to his family? Well, his wife divorced him. Oh, right. 
For some reason, when I was thinking, did Trudeau's wife divorce him? I was thinking, no, that's Tom Brady that I'm thinking of. Well, also that. I know, but I don't know why. Like, (laughs) Well, they look, they're both handsome. Are they? Who would you rather be? Whose career would you rather (laughs) Tom Brady's, of course. Mm. I mean, think. I'm gonna have richer? to think about that. Who's richer, though? That is a. I don't know. I, I don't, don't know. know how much politicians get paid. As much as they want. When you're that high up, you choose. I your guess salary. so. It just there's that balance of how much money do I want to make and take from my people. How much can I take before they're mad? Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, he, they've taken. He's, he's reached the threshold. He went well beyond the threshold. He flew a little too close to the sun. Yeah, but who among us hasn't? Oh shit. 100%. So you can cast the first stone. <laughs> when it comes to taking money taken, from people. You have taken the plank out of your own eye. Yeah, I found it. The plank has been removed, and now I will be going after everyone's specs. Dude, the plank in your eye is probably going to hurt a lot. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, ah, time. Where did you hear that saying? Um, I can't for the life of me. Like, it sounds familiar. And I've heard it before. I can't so, for the life of me know where it's from. I was re- I've was i been replaying Assassin's Creed. Oh, it's in Assassin's and Creed. And Ezio says it. He goes, you cast the first stone. You get the plank out of your right top if in case <sighs> I fall. He said, I've taken the plank out of my eye and I've used a ladder now that I get a right top in case I fall down from here. So hell of a fucking pull quote. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it actually well, makes me want to replay those games now. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna finish Assassin's Creed two tonight. Um, a little bit shorter than I remembered it being, but but it's it's the game. The game I, I realize is always shorter when you replay it because you yeah, know where to go. Going, yeah, exactly. And you're not you're not doing side missions along the way. You're but not, even the like, Assassin's Creed assassins. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not doing any of the assassin missions or mail or beat them up bullshit. Oh, you're just playing the story. I'm just well, I'm I just want to play through all of them because I'm to get to Mirage. Mm-hmm. I want to play through all of them and really just the stories, but doing some side stuff along the way, like whatever feels organic doing that. Um, and then in the RPG ones doing the side missions that I need to, to be high enough level to be able Did to you platinum any of the RPG ones. No. Oh, Not they're like close. a really ridiculous platinum. The Valhalla I think is like a 200 hour platinum. Not happening. Then. See, that's the thing is like, and then Mirage is like a 25 hour. I like completion. I want to get more into platinum in games. At least the games that I want to platinum mm-hmm. and I'm really enjoying because I feel like a platinum on a single player game is like equivalent to like playing the game for like a thousand hours. Like when you platinumed it, you played the game. Right. That's why like I like you getting... played that game. You took everything there was in to take in with a multiplayer game like COD or like World of Warcraft or like those type of games. I feel like you got a, a thousand hours is a lot like but, like, think about how much I played Destiny. I can really say that I played that game. Yeah. But I don't really like multiplayer games as much as I like single-player games, and that's why the sense of being, like, I completed this. This was the journey. Like, when, when, when a game has a platinum trophy or all the achievements, that, in my eyes, is the developers being, like, you completed the game. Yeah. So that is why I like going for them so much, because it makes me feel like I experienced the full amount of what was want what they wanted me to experience yeah yeah exactly guys let us know what you like to platinum do you like platinuming um 200 hour game maybe 300 hour 500 hour games or are you like ethan who likes to play the same game for 1500 hours well it's fun real and it's actually closer to 25 500 hours <gasps> we can consider the entire destiny as a franchise and that being said i would be still playing destiny to this day if i was rich and could afford well i can don't want to afford all of the expansions mm. see in part two where we're gonna make ethan rich quick Peace. Peace. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to part, part two of the osi podcast episode 51 and today we're talking about and movie three campaign oh, and our thoughts on it. I haven't watched it or played. I thought it was good. Okay, and moving on. Um, what? That's relevant I've... news, man. We're the gaming podcast, dude. I think the title of this podcast is going to be the OSI podcast. Was Makarov right? Episode fifty-one. 
line. Uh-huh. We drove drunk? Question mark. No. <laughs> Patrick has a DUI. Patrick <laughs> drove drunk? Question mark. Well, we it's know a good someone title. who did insider trading. <laughs> Would we perjure ourselves? <laughs> Tackling the question today, would we perjure ourselves? Yeah. And would we? The answer is yes. I think the answer is yes the under the right circumstances. No, but not because of the and I can't, justice And system. you know what? I can't wait for us to eventually be a witness in court one day and they pull up the... What the, you, so the what, def- when is that going to happen? What do you mean? It's like you said it like it's a guarantee. The defense lawyer goes, uh, Your Honor, before we proceed, I'd just like to pull up this clip uh, that, the, that the witness said on a previous... <gasps> and it's me going... I would definitely perjure myself <laughs> under the right circumstances. And it was a week before you knew that you <laughs> yeah. were going to witness. You knew you were going to be a witness and you said that on your podcast. Guys, guys, under the right circumstances, I would perjure myself. Guys, Pause. I'm getting called in to be a witness in a week's time. And should I lie? Guys, should <laughs> I perjure kind of myself? Fun. Perjuring myself in court gone wrong. Perjurating. Perjurate my ass in your face, son. Whoa. Now that's a good monster. Mm. Does it taste fresh or old? It's hairy. Oh, it tastes crispy. You want a sip? Nah, it's, it's right. chaotic punch. What does it taste like? Like fruit punch. It tastes like fruit punch. It tastes like fruit punch. Let me have a sip ski. <laughs> I knew you wanted one, man. And let me say, grenade protein, not sponsored, but. If you guys go out and you see these grenade Oreo bars, especially the Oreo ones, dude. It's like an orange fruit punch. Dude, grenade makes the best protein bar, I will say. Problem is, five bucks. Mm -hmm. Five bucks a pop. Hard to justify. But as a nice little treat every once in a while, especially the Oreo one, that's been my favorite. To be honest, I haven't tried the other ones. I know there's like salted caramel. And these aren't sponsored. I'm just like genuinely, in, genuinely in love with these protein bars, and I hope one day we get sponsored. Mm. This podcast is sponsored to my two dream sponsors, Red Bull, yeah, and Grenade. And down, perfect. I can have five million followers, and I will say, guys, please give me a sponsorship. You don't need to pay me. Just give me a free lifetime supply, and I, <laughs> and I'll be and I will be, I will be running your shit. Mm. Non-stop. Mm. But you don't want to that. say that. You want to say, like, can we get some money here? I don't want the money. I'm not in it for the money. You're in it for the wrong reasons, it. then. Oh. <laughs> I would genuinely... If, if you're if, not in something for the money, if like, why are you doing holy it? Holy shit. If I got... When, like, if I get bigger... um, Like fat? Like fatter? Yeah. I'm going to reach out to them and say, please. Please, I need, I need this. this. I need this. If I get bigger... uh on my YouTube, mm-hmm. then I'm I'm gonna reach out to Grenade and say, and Red Bull, and say, I love your products. I really don't need you to pay me. Mm. I kind of just want free product, and I will promote you guys. Mm. And I feel like a lot of brands will do that. Guys, guys, Red Bull, tell us at home if you would do that this Sunday. The 24 hour live stream is back. <laughs> And guys, and it's gonna be fun. I need still need to promote that on my Instagram. Should I do it right now? Nah, I'll do it after. Um, we're raising money for Myeloma Canada. Um, that's cancer. So that is cancer. Yeah, thanks. Myeloma cancer. Multiple. And will myeloma. we be donating the money? <laughs> Probably. Yes. yes. Probably. No. <laughs> we F-A-Q, will be. FAQ. And will we be donating the money? Yes, yes, dude. <laughs> yes, dude. Obviously. And this year we're doing it on YouTube. Yes. So last time YouTube. I pro- not last, this channel, not, not this, this channel, not this channel. Last time I promoted it, I got no more subscribers. So I know I know nobody went to subscribe. YouTube.com well, slash at Whiplash EG underscore. Simple. Everybody knows how to spell Whiplash EG. It's the word Whiplash plus the letters E and G. Why don't you put the Why don't you put the, the, the I description? I won't be editing that in. In the description of the video? Okay, if you want to go in the description, it'll be in there. And go, go down. Go in the description. Go in the description. And we're going to be replaying the MW3 campaign. Whoa. Three times? Nine All the way times. Through. Nine. Nine. No. That's all we're doing. Let's say we round up to four hours. <laughs> That's all we're doing. Six times. <laughs> we'll run it six times. All right. Dude, One more time. Dude, looking back, like, 
I that I do wish that it was longer because when I'm playing and I'm thinking back and I'm like, that was great gameplay. Mm. I had a great time. Uh, cool levels. Mm. Anybody who com- complains about the levels were Warzone POIs, first off, fuck off. Yeah, I heard it was just Verdansk the campaign. First off, wrong. <laughs> it's wrong. That's wrong. There's like four open combat missions. I heard it was just playing DMZ. Wrong. With cutscenes in between. Well, who said that? Moist Critical? No, one of my Zero friends. personality, Moist Critical? One of my buddies. Well, I have a bone to pick with one of your buddies, okay? Well, he was would... in the 24-hour live stream last year, man. Well, then I'll pick the bone with him then. With Giovanni? It was. Yeah. I'm going to fight that guy. I have beef with him. <laughs> I have beef with him the same way Connor has beef with Muzzy Muzz. <laughs> oh. I see him in person. I'm going to knock his ass um, up. So, for the live I'm stream. knock his ass up. Oh, shit. Um, you know what I was thinking? I think that we, and I love this planning live. Is that distracting? A little bit. Um. I think that because last year, obviously, we did Extra Life, and Extra Life runs the... They take a cut. Do they? No. That would oh. be fucked up. That would be fucked up. Um, you were able to have a live tracker on the screen. I think that we should do the money raising on GoFundMe. So that way we have a bar that we can show. We can set a goal. It might not be updating in real time. I don't know if... if uh, it updates in real time. There we might have has to, to kind of be no, refreshing. Okay. <clears throat> no, because there's a way. Think about streamers when they have like donation goals. Mm-hmm. They have a donation bar that goes up like in general. Yeah, we'll have to look into <clears> it. <throat> so I'm sure through Streamlabs, I'd be able to set that up where if you just donate to like a pay- I'll be able to YouTube YouTube it and be like, how do I set up a donation goal? Yeah. Or ha- oh, right. Well, actually. There's ways to do it. Actually, I think that. There is a fundraiser feature on YouTube. So maybe you should but look at But do I have that unlocked at 200 Ooh, subscribers? May, I mean, if that's something you have to unlock, that's kind of bullshit. You have to be a high... You have to have enough subscribers to I can look into it. I can money. look into how to set up a fundraiser on YouTube. I could do that. And then we can have the fundraiser tag. Yeah, I think worst case scenario, we do GoFundMe. Because that way you can see the goal, you can see All the right, bar. And people who go on the page can also see how much have been donated has been exactly. donated. Exactly, right? and, and, and we that. can see, and we can see who is donating how much. Well, we could see through PayPal. I'd be able to see. Um, but or then, through no no it, it would, sorry it wouldn't be through PayPal. It'd be through uh, Streamlabs. That's how you normally donate. Is you go mm-hmm. Streamlabs creates a donation link which you can set up through PayPal, so it goes to my PayPal. And then on that donation link, you can choose a message, obviously your amount, and then your name. And then that's how it links to the, um, uh, what's it called? That's how it, do- it links to the donation bar on the screen. Right. Um, and that is how people could track how much has been donated. Um, we'd still be able to see who donates. Obviously, it'd show up on mm-hmm. the screen. That's the other thing, is that if we do it through that then we can get alerts. I think if we do it through GoFundMe, we won't be able to get an if, alert. If, if you can do it through Streamlabs where it has a bar mm-hmm. and it shows how much we raised and we can see who's sending money, mm-hmm. then that's that's all we need. So what, what we can do is I can set up a bar and I can set up alerts. So when someone does it, it'll, it'll like do the donation sound. Mm-hmm. And then I can also have an events thing underneath my thing, which will include like follows and subscribes and stuff, but it'll include donations. And so like who donated last and stuff like that. And like a list of people who donated. Um, but we can have a bar that tracks how much we have. In we, the can have a to- we can have a, yeah, we can have a top donator t- uh, thing as well. Yeah. I don't care about that. I just only care like, about the bar really. Yeah. We could do the bar hundred percent. We could do the bar. Like With I know, like I know that we can, I think we got to set our goal at a thousand bucks. I think so too. That that's how much I think we that, raised that, last was year. Was that our goal last year? Was what was our goal last year? I think our goal last year was a thousand. Okay, a thousand US it. though, and we didn't reach a thousand US, but we no, reached, we reached a thousand. But, Canadian. but we went into it thinking a thousand, a thousand Canadian. Canadian. Yeah, but then because Extra Life is an American company, we put in a thousand. Yeah, and it was a thousand USD, and so we raised like it was like eight hundred eight hundred something US. But yeah, technic. So technically, we did reach our goal. Yeah. Um, in the eleventh hour, I think Kurt came in. With yeah, a, Kurt with came in donation. in the in the morning with the yeah. dono. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so we're we're gonna be 
Speedrunning, all of the Uncharted games, all the mainline Uncharted games. Probably not Lost Legacy. I mean, we can do Lost Legacy. I've never played it. We can if we are in dire need of something to fill in. I, I don't think we will, honestly. We have, especially if we're going to be on the PS, because last year we just did on the PC. Yeah. And on the PS5, we have a million games yeah, to yeah. play. We'll just go through either one of our libraries and say, I'm kind of in the mood to play that game. Let's yeah, play it. Yeah, but I think we should come up. I think we should do that ahead of time. <laughs> Yeah, we should, but I'm saying if worst case scenario, we're totally out of games yeah. and we're super bored. There are such a there's such an immense library of games to play. It, it feels compared so, to PC it, where I, I I only have like a handful of games. The, this is off topic. It feels so most late. Of multiplayer. It feels so late because it's been dark for it's so long. It's not even seven. It's six forty five. But that's also what is kind of blessed though is like on nights like this where it's like oh it feels late but it's like oh no I actually saw so much yeah. more in the day. So that that is one benefit, but that benefit would come regardless. It's winter time. The weekdays are the worst because now we're going to be wrapping up and going home from the office in the dark. Yeah, yeah, that's always the worst. Um, but anyways, uh, stream, uh, uh, geez, Louise, speed running the Uncharted games. See how fast we can do all of them. Uh, we're gonna play some COD, probably some zombies. Um, I do want to play I'm a little bit. Excited of, for that game, dude. I do want to play Friday. a little bit of GeoGuessr again this year. Okay. If it's easy enough to swap between P- PS yeah, and PC, it will be. Um, I have it'll actually then, it'll actually be really easy because now that I'm thinking about it, my thing. Oh, the only thing is that I I I don't think we'll be able to get the full 144 hertz. Could be wrong on your PC because it's HDMI. No, on the PS5 on those monitors because it's HDMI to HDMI. That's fine. Or it's like HDMI like through the Elgato. I don't really care about 144 hertz. I'm not going to lie. You might notice a difference, but it's fine. Uh, I think I think we'll be all right. If it's 60 frames per second, that's fine with me. Yeah, yeah it will be. Um, and then we're going to have some other games that, that we're going to be kind of coming up with. But that's that was our, our big main game. Similar to last year where the Ocarina of Time speed run was our – well, it was barely a speed run. It was a playthrough that we – Did it sub did, 10. That we did quickly – um but these ones it's like we're skipping cutscenes like we're going as fast as we possibly can on these ones we're not doing glitches because we don't know those shits no no hell no but i don't think the but we've played these games enough we we know yeah, we know where to route. go we know where to go we know what to do honestly now that i'm thinking fun. about it like uncharted 2 is going to be the fastest one uncharted 1 is going to be the fastest one that game is fast you oh really? you could beat that game casually in one sitting well, I'm just thinking, like, in terms of our knowledge. Yeah, My I'm knowledge sure starts to dip at three and then four. Three, only, I think I've only played through four once. Three might be... No, I I am going to be so good at all of these. That's games. fine. <laughs> I'll still be good. Like, it's Uncharted. It's a linear game. It's pretty obvious where to go. And I've played yeah. them before. Like, I'll recognize them. I played three, half of three pretty recently, I think. Um, yeah. I, I am just... I could, like play the game blindfolded i feel like yeah, <laughs> at this not, point all like all I've of them played these games so many times number one and number two i've played a lot I've i mean lot. i even feel like i could play lost legacy pretty quickly and what difficulty are we gonna be playing on easy okay because i don't want to be you don't want to be sitting there in cover on crushing and going real wait for two minutes real. to heal you know what i will say so that I about the mw3 just play, just campaign? play on the easiest difficulty and try and go fast you know what I will say about the MW3 campaign? I was playing on regular, and I didn't feel like I was getting shot <laughs> twice and dying. So that's uh, nice. It wasn't like Recruit on MW2 I veteran, where I was getting one shot. I wonder what Veteran feels like then. Veteran's going to be obviously a little but bit no, tougher. But it's, even, if I, even, if I, do, even if you buy it on PlayStation now, there's no Platinum, so I wouldn't play it on Veteran. I would play it on regular probably. If I'm buying it for you on PlayStation, I'm buying it so that you can play zombies. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying I would play it on Veteran in the past to get the trophy for beating on right. Veteran, but now it really doesn't matter because there's no Platinum. So so you care more about the Platinum than you do like the your trophy level? Uh, I care about both. If, there, if it's a game that I know I'm going to really spend some time with but probably not get the Platinum... If there's a, di- not gonna be if there's a difficulty-related trophy, I will try and beat it on said difficulty. Or at least as high up difficulty as possible to try and get as many of those as I can. Mm-hmm. Um, but for this one, it's like I'm not gonna. I don't want. It's I, not worth I, going I through it I with it wanna, for not the platinum, unless I, 
unless you really take your time to buy it on PlayStation, and I have watched your video of the walkthrough, mm -hmm. then I would play it on Veteran. Because then I would have already experienced the game, and then I'm like, I'm not playing this game to experience it now. I'm playing it to get the trophy. But even though you don't get the platinum technically, you can still st you're you're still getting the platinum. You still you can still technically look at your platinum trophy and be like, okay, there should be one more. Yeah, I know, but I because first to of all, more. who's looking at your platinum? I mean, your number of platinums that isn't you or with you at the time. Well, I know that they don't mean anything, but well, they mean whatever you want. But them I to don't mean. like. I'm I not don't... saying that. I'm just saying like nobody is coming onto your profile and being like, "Oh, this guy only has well, this guy has this many platinums," because you so you can always be like, "Yeah." If somebody if anybody asks you how many platinums you have, you just tell them the amount with MW3 included, and that's not wrong. But but it it's not even about that. It's the feeling of going. It's the feeling of grinding to get that platinum trophy. But it's also, think about... So if I grind and get all the trophies, it's like, all right, I guess it's cool to see 100% again on Modern Warfare I was, That's 2, what I was going to say. But it's like, it doesn't... It's just not the same to me. I know. I know it's not. It's It doesn't feel as rewarding. And that 49% might even get it only lower because they're going to be I adding know. more trophies. I <laughs> well, I mean, the uh, like Final Fantasy 15, I got the platinum for... A couple months ago, mm -hmm. and that's at like forty-seven percent, just because there's so many DLC trophy lists. Yeah, but the and so I got. I'm like, I didn't do any of the DLCs. I just did the main game. 47%. I wonder. I wonder if their plan is to drop. I don't know because they've never done it in the past where they drop new campaign levels throughout the year. So I wonder if have that, they alluded to potentially doing no, that. I'm just wondering if maybe I, that's what they're gonna do. But Listen, if if they can get you to spend another fifty dollars, I'm sure they would. Oh, uh, I think it would be free. This is Activision you're talking about. But I would even argue technically the campaign is free. Like, like take the campaign out of the game and just give us modern and just give us the multiplayer. That's and Black zombies. Ops Four. Yeah, just give us Black Ops Four amount of content, and that's more than enough. But I still don't Black think Ops that's ninety dollars. I think that should be free to play. Especially since there are microtransactions and a battle pass. If a game is just online, like if they didn't think, have the campaign, I think the campaign is the only thing that constitutes it to be to have a price tag in the first place. That is, I think, the other reason why I get upset, why it's so short, is because f multiplayer only games should be free to play, in my opinion. Fortnite, Warzone, Overwatch. I agree. What else? Valorant. Especially, well, especially because their cash shop is so expensive. Yeah. It's, 20, it's, like, it's like $40 for a skin bundle. That's the thing. And if bundle. Call of Duty <laughs> wants to say, or like, if if they're thinking the way that you're thinking, where the $90 is for the multiplayer and for zombies, then make the battle pass free. I know. I agree. And uh, they're, no, well, no, that, that that's because that's a worse, they'll make way less money on that. What they should do I know is they should make the game free. They should make and, the game and, free and then make yeah. the cash shop it, what it is. And nobody ever had a cash a problem with the Fortnite cash shop. No. Because nobody has a free. problem with cash shops if if the game is free. Apps I one hundred percent agree. Same with sports games. If I don't sports know. game if Madden was free yeah. and then they pumped you full of Madden Ultimate Team bullshit, n way less people care. Yeah. I care less. I, I wouldn't even be angry at that at all. I don't even know how they continue they're the only company that still gets away with it they're the it's the only game that gets away with it well and 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 the sports games they're not getting away with it oh no one's playing sorry they're not getting away with it i'm saying cod if Cod's cod not, is getting away with it but getting people away still with it buy in what it's, sense? it's people still buy people madden still, a lot of nobody people still talks about madden well, you're just not in the same. You're just not in the circles of people who talk about or play. I Madden. guess. I guess that's and true. Madden's more casual. But you don't see Moist Critical playing. Well, it's because it's because the sports games are the same every year. So it really is just like the game comes out, the people who care shit on it, and then the people who are Madden YouTubers have to pretend to like it. Yeah. So that they can make a living. But. The fact that Call of Duty is but I, still I think, full price game is. Ridiculous. I think Microsoft might help. To be honest, they they bought Minecraft and made Minecraft way better. And Minecraft is no problems, no problems. 
It's not glitchy. There's no cash shop. You buy the game once and every single new content update that comes out is just, it's just an update with new content. It's just free. And that's all thanks to Microsoft. Hey, so let's see. We'll see. Only time will tell. If Microsoft, <clears throat> if Microsoft ends up thinking that they can make more money with a free to play model Call of Duty, then they will make. But Call of Phil Duty free. Spencer doesn't seem like that guy. Whatever the CEO of Activision's name is, is that guy? He is him. To make the games free? No, to make the games all about how much money can we make? Oh, Phil, Phil Spencer, Spencer is a gamer. Definitely. Well, he's a gamer. From his tweets, he seems... He's know, more of a gamer than the PlayStation CEO is. But I'm saying, like, he kind of, from what he tweets, seems like he does have his heart in it a little bit more than a lot of these companies do. You would think, then, that Microsoft would put out a good game. Well, that's just... But that's just, like... But that's not bad technically ideas. Xbox's fault. That's it's not Xbox's fault. fault. It's more like they just don't have good IPs. Or they, they just bought bad first party IPs or first party yeah, developers they just like Bethesda, in. bad. Yeah. Activision we'll see. Yeah, Activision we'll see. But Activision doesn't have any like exclusives. But yeah, I except for COD. What do you mean they don't have any exclusives? COD's not an Xbox exclusive. Oh, you're saying COD oh, you're saying Activision doesn't make any Xbox exclusives. They probably will start. Yeah. Well, maybe. We'll see. As long as it's not COD. But I think Phil was Phil was like, don't worry, guys. Well, it's if it's if it becomes be an Xbox exclusive, it's going to be on PC. No, it's going to be on PC. The game's still going to die. It will definitely die. Dude, nobody... It, it, it would just... Like, nobody plays on Xbox, bro. Like, some people do, but... But I think that's their hope is it, to buy... I mean, like, they haven't said... They said that they're not going to make it exclusive. I know, and they won't. They, they'd but, be making so much less money. But if they so did... So much less. The only, the only reason that they would is... To make people buy an Xbox to play Call of Duty, which they're not going to do that. I, I my when, when, but when think about it realistically, what what was the last game? When was the last time Xbox was like you, uh, Microsoft was like we're going to make this game with the intention of you have to buy an Xbox to play this game? Starfield. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Although that game, but most Xbox exclusives are out on PC. Halo's out on PC, right? And it's free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they, the multiplayer is, and the yeah. campaign you have to pay for. See, Call of Duty, ninety bucks. That I don't know. Let me look at how much Halo Infinite campaign is. I I, I know it, it's crazy because making it free also will just like it 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 gives more opportunity for people to spend things on, on the cash shop. Um, Halo Infinite, because prices. that's more. That's more people trying out your game and possibly falling in love with it. What if what if you are somebody who's like like what if you're somebody who would f love Call of Duty, but you don't know cuz all you hear is bullshit and you and you don't want to you don't want to risk spending uh $90 to buy it. But if it's free, you're like, well, I'll, I'll give it a try. And then you fall in love with it and you're like, and now I'm going to spend over $90 on cash shop items. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, now they've just made more money than they would have. Um Okay, so I think with games, there's there's there should be zero barrier to entry on games. Halo Infinite is eighty dollars. The campaign is eighty dollars Canadian, but it's also like four times as long as COD. Right. So it's like it's an actual campaign. Yeah. Um, which I still think eighty dollars is a little bit ridiculous. I think so too. But um. Still, if if call if the Halo Infinite campaign was um, three hours and eighty dollars, I'd be like, that is an actual robbery. Well, yeah, I w I would say if you were just getting the campaign out of COD for ninety dollars, I would say the same. Yeah, <laughs> but but as we've determined, or some what yeah. what I think is fine, p make the campaign the thing you have to pay for. But the multiplayer should be free. I just think what they should do is they should just um, make a make a base game, which is MW3. It's a great base. Mm -hmm. It's a gr it plays so fucking well. I was having so much fun playing it. Every single bullet that lands is the most satisfying thing ever in multiplayer. Even in like, campaign, you have to hit him like fifteen times now for a kill, right? 
the TTK <laughs> is, you know, it's, it's a personal <laughs> preference of some people. I, I hated it at first. I got used to it eventually and didn't mind it. It's not, it's, it's not as long, but as I know Ops that 4. you like longer time to kill because Black I like Ops shorter four. ones. No, I like shorter Black ones. Ops four took, I remember Donkey's video is like, it's called Black Ops four. Cause it takes four headshots to kill someone. I, I don't mind. I prefer short time to kills. Mm -hmm. I liked Call of Duty ghosts. I liked the time to kill in MW two. Um, I don't mind it in MW three. I was starting to enjoy it more as I got used to it. Um, so that's, I don't have any problems there, but this game is great. The gunplay is great. What they should do is just make that base every year. If they want to come out with new content every year for 20, we'll say 20 us, mm -hmm. they drop, they drop three hours worth of game, three hours, or four hours worth of, um, campaign, which adds on to whatever the last year. So like kind of like an expansion. And then within that 20 US, or maybe they can make it 30 US. I don't know if they're going to add stuff. They add new maps as well, but they don't make, they can't, but it's easier to justify that less price because they're not redeveloping a whole new game. Mm -hmm. They're just adding new content. So yes, of course, we're going to have to pay for their time, but they don't, they don't have to feel like they're getting robbed because they're not developing a whole new game. And they're like, well, we developed a whole new game. You need to spend 90, you need to pay us $90. No, <laughs> you didn't. Let's just stick on the same good engine that everybody likes and nobody asked for a new one. I'm saying that it's going to be the case this year. And let's just expand on what we already have. It's called an expansion for a reason. Mm -hmm. Now, let's not make it. It's going to, well, it would never happen because I was going to say, let's not make it like Destiny 2. But Destiny 2, the problem with Destiny 2 is that you can't play that game. You can't actually play the game without dropping $400. At because, this point, yeah. Because in COD, if they were dropping like a $30 or $50 expansion, the game, there would be nothing locked behind that $50. You'd still be able to play all the old maps. You'd still be able to play all the new things. The only new content you wouldn't have is a campaign, which like, if you don't care about, that's fine. That's not the whole, that's not the whole game. Where like Destiny is like, Whole new expansion. Everything in the previous expansions is useless. Mm. You have to spend full game, full box price on a new expansion to get the new relevant weapons and the new relevant. No, you don't need it for the new relevant light level, but like the game, it's like, it's like, yeah. But anyways, only to play devil's advocate that destiny two came out, what, seven years ago. And how much are the expansions? Know. Forty dollars, mm -mm. ninety. What? Yeah, yeah, they're full game price. Okay, that's I yeah. almost said a really bad word, but that is what it is. <laughs> oh yeah, that's why I everybody that hates they were the game. Just that's why nobody plays I thought it. that they were just expansion prices. My, uh, my, but what even, I was going to argue is is totally irrelevant. But even World of Warcraft, I mean, those come out those come out every two years. Because I was going to say if full box price, if they're like DLC priced over the span of seven years. It's this. It's honestly a better deal than Call of Duty, which is the last Call of Duty from last year is totally irrelevant. You have to buy the new game now because this is what everyone's playing. So it's the same thing, pretty much, except just in the same game. Except you get more out of a new Call of Duty, arguably. Mm, trust me, you don't get that much out of a new Destiny Two expansion. You would probably get a three-hour campaign, and <laughs> and. Yeah, but three-hour campaign, and then that's what Destiny 2 is. Destiny 2 is a PV, PvE game at heart. Yeah, that's true. Um, but, oh, fuck, we're almost out of time. And guys! And guys, per <laughs> And guys, let us know what do you think about video <laughs> guys, game prices. Do you think about they're it. fun? Let us know. And we'll see you on Sunday for the 24-hour live stream. YouTube.com slash Whiplash EG underscore. Slash at Whiplash EG underscore. Uh... Burr. Link in the description. Link in the description. We'll see you on Sunday. Burr. 10 a.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. Standard time. It's like a scissor. November 12th. Burr. Burr.